broadcast live. Hundreds, hundreds, cash, 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 hundreds, hundreds, cash. What's the one thing that you, what's the one thing you can compare yourself with Brenda where you called the concept of calling yourself like, um, 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 of mixing your name with my brother. What was the one thing that you said, this is what's similar with me, with Brenda? I think I'm not as vocal as Brenda, but mm. I really don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like I really don't. Like I'm so unmoved by things. Yeah. Like people who really know me know I'm like super chilled. I'm mm. so relaxed. Like he's big in the army. Like I'm super super chilled. So I think that's something that I definitely relate to. But at the time, why I came up with it is because we were living in that time where if if you didn't, as a female, if you didn't survive that um. 2014, 2015 essay hip hop. If you didn't like even try prick the surface, if your iceberg didn't stick out just a little bit, it was a little bit more difficult for you to yeah. catch up, you know? Yeah. So it was a very like crazy hostile time in essay hip hop and I needed to tap into something on the inside of me that was gonna see me through that period. Yeah. Yeah. And um it was just like I my only reference is always Brenda Fassi. Like I've loved her for so many years. Yeah. She's just like amazing. She's a music god. She's a swag god. She's even just like her her energy and her spirit and like things she said. She was just hilarious, you know. So um, yeah, I, it was just a love thing. It really is like Nyam Tanda. Like besides feeling like ah. Oh, I can sing like her or yeah. I perform like her. Like I'm very yeah. different to her and I understand yeah. that. But for me it was just like an inspiration and an aspiration thing. I'll tell you an interesting story about Brenda that I was told also, but I feel it's nice to share. Besides the fact that you told me that we broke, you know, um, <laughs> I wanted to action with her. Um, this woman was telling me that Brenda had sold I think like platinum or whatever. And she's uh, still the highest selling yeah. artist in South African history. I'm, I'm not sure, I don't have the steps, but like she sold that and like the label gave her a BMW. So she calls this white woman who's telling me the story, she goes, yo, jump in my car, let's roll. She's driving and she's speeding, right? And then like, as she's speeding like this, the cop stop her, you know, like it's a white cop, it's obviously old South Africa. And they like, um, they like, and, this, she, and the white woman is sitting on the side and they're like, um, uh, ma'am, ma why are you speeding like this? You know, you know you can kill, you know you can get killed. And she's like, yeah, I, I, I'm driving the, the, the madame's car, the madame's car. And then the cop goes, where's the madame? Where's the madame? He goes, yes! <laughs> I love you know, that. Have you, have you ever met Bongani though? I have met Bongani. How does he uh, not, not recently, but... Yeah. Um, is he cool with you calling yourself? Um, he calls, like the other day he was on the phone with Gemini while I was there in Gemini. I was like, yeah, I'm in a session with Muesli and he was like, oh, my brr, so. Uh, yeah. but, so, so, yeah. so he co-signed. Actually, like, the co like, there's so many people that were so close to Brenda Fassi that are in my life right now. Yeah. I'll probably freak you out, yeah. but I think I'll just save that story for the album. Uh, just give us a hint of what's on the no, album. No, it's really crazy. But also, if like people really did their research, like, they would like they, I, I don't even know how people haven't connected the dots already but, but I, I think have, people but are, I have I have what, what research did you just check my insta no not even but like it's easy for you to be connected I know yeah like okay maybe you you would but know. a lot of people are gonna go yes yeah, you never asked it because you know yeah so please just tell them no just listen to the album though when is the album dropping in July hopefully Who's on God the album? God willing. Uh, right now we've got Youngster CPT on the album. We did something with Patty Monroe. Ah. Um, I'm still trying to do something with Rouge because I think Bongozang 2.0 is needed. Uh -huh. um, we're going to do something with Maram, so we're also going to get Shekina in. Ah. Um, there's still a lot of work to be done. I have this month to finish it up. Is but it all we're really done excited. in Cape Town? No, we're going to do some stuff out here. We started in Cape Town and we did stuff with Psycho Beats and Fresh Click, which was oh. really, really dope. Yeah, shout yeah, out to yeah. them. Yeah. Um, shout out to Fresh Click. Yeah, shout out to Fresh Click, man. They, they're, they, you see, they got to be part of that female wave now. That's yeah. just coming. I mean, you guys are really just the foundation of what, of what, what's when they come. Yeah. You guys are plowed. And they've just got good energy, Very though, much. you know. And they've been really at it for a long time. I think a lot of the time when you see a new artist, we feel like, oh, you're new. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm really one of the last new artists yeah. in South Africa because I really was like a new. I've mm. only been doing this for like a couple of years, but a lot of people have been doing it for such a long time, you know. So it's going to be great to see them getting their shine. 
But yeah, we, we're still going to put in a lot of work. Gemini Mage is going to be executive producing. This is the first he's done before, but they never got released. So I'm going to be the first Gemini Major executive produced album. And it's, sure he got it's his sounding yesterday. amazing. No, he's, Sibura calls him royalties. That's what his name is. Look, I got a royalty. I ain't made music in a while. And I got <laughs> like 4,000. I'm like, imagine what Gemini got. No, he's like, like when that check comes in, his life is going to change. You're going to see him. He's going to be on his Batman flex. Trust it. Yo, Namuzi, thanks for making the time to see us. It's a pleasure. Um, I'm going to ask you one last personal question. Mm -hmm. Personal question. It's linked to being a boss, right? So, I know that, like, you know, you move with your partner, right? How do you remove, he's my partner, he's not doing the job, I'm going to tell him shit. I think he's always been an artist manager. I think a lot of the time when people that are in relationships work with one another, it's out of necessity. Mm. The one popped off and she needed somebody to help them, so this person just picked up the reins and did mm. what they needed to do. But Smuda has always been an artist manager. He worked with Liz before me. And before and that, the time, like, my gosh, yes. I'm trying to be fly about it. <laughs> I was like, he worked with um, Liz before me, yeah. and he worked with AKA before that. He worked with Tear Gas. Like, mm. He's got so much experience and I'm also like an artist and I'm a boss and I'm independent and I'm a Virgo and I'm a woman. Yeah, so like yeah. I'm really on top of my stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, it just works somehow, you know? Like we, we understand that when it's work, it's work. And people are always so concerned about me telling him like he also has to have difficult conversations with me as an artist where he has to remove the fact that he's my boyfriend and i also have to like not think like oh my gosh my boyfriend is shouting at me like no it's not like that and it's also not like that for him also we have a common goal i'm the first artist that has really given him like full reign mm. over what this thing can become mm. so he has a lot to lose mm. like besides the business he is also going to lose me so <laughs> he ain't trying to go out like that. Would you? Would you want to fuck that up as a nigga? Would you want to fuck that up? Nah, I'm, no, I don't think I'm, so. I'm, I'm, I'm good. But we work very effectively. I think I've never had a better manager than Smura. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's set me up for life. He mm. gives me ideas that most people wouldn't see. He also understands what it means to manage a female artist. Mm. I think. You know, people forget the little things that it takes to manage a female artist, and yeah. he's very aware of that. He's very supportive, and I think he's a very key person in South African hip hop, not only in my career, but in so many he's careers. He's important, I know that. He's so. very, very important to the game. So, um, yeah, it works. We, we yeah. do our thing. SPR Projects is doing incredibly well, the Muzma Bena Music is doing incredibly well. Yeah. Um, so, we're good. We're gonna be the, like we're gonna be that OG couple. Like y'all better find somebody to wipe up rag real soon because imagine the great like the summers in 15 years when me and Scooter pull up. Ah, you guys are not ready for that. <laughs> you guys are not ready for that. Listen, I say to you, I live for new things. You know what I mean? You can't have lived a life a life where it's the same things. It's the same guys that are successful. It's the same people. We live to see new stories of black people doing new progressive things. That's why I see the movement that's happening in hip hop from when it started with Casper, aka Tigas. And I was like, I love this. Cruz was never going to tie a deal with Squatter Camp and do what they do. You know, Ciroc was never going to do that. It was never going to happen. Not because they were not big, it's because brands were not ready to touch us like that. Yeah. But when it happens, and I'm going, we did it for a purpose. So I love seeing that. But not only in rap, but even in relationships. Because I keep telling reason that, nigga, I started this relationship too, in this culture. This is the motherfucking thanks I get. But to see these relationships. Be <laughs> but, but, but I say, to keep, to, to see these relationships work though. Yeah. This is what we want to see. These stories work. This is what we want to see. We just don't want to see y'all making, but like y'all need, we want to see y'all being happy. You know yeah. what I mean? Because that's where we are. We, we, we get married, we get kids, but, but like, what the fuck? You know I what I mean? It's also good to see that we are real people, you know? And we really, we all really do genuinely love each other, you know? Like, it's, it's like a real thing. It's like when the music is done, when we're off that stage, when we're at home, like, that's my guy, you know? And he's the only person who probably does even understand the crazy ideas that I've got going on. And I think I know that because he was like, okay, cool, let us do it together, you know? A lot of people have looked at me and just thought like, you're crazy, or they've said, 
you go girl, do your thing, you yeah. know? Like very rare when somebody's like, I'm gonna do this thing with you, you know? Mm. And I really, really respect that for, I respect him for that. And, and that's what I'm saying, that's where we are. We, are, we wanna see you work in your career, we wanna see you work in your relationship, especially with people that are close. And this is your relationship, your partner, your family. This is the things that we've evolved, where money is just not the only thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's in our relationships. It's in our work because the relationship is working. It literally, literally makes the, the work work and it makes the money come yeah. because we are honest with each other from the get because that's what love does. The core of money is first, there's got to be a love. If you want to make money off music, you got to love the music first. Mm. There's got to be love, mm. you know? And you guys are doing it in a partnership and I wish you all the luck, you Thank know? Thank you. Um, and we want to, I want to see you in the summers in 15 years, Manyala like out there. Pimping, you know, you know, you know, SB and no muzi, no muzi, no band records. Just listen, we're crossing fingers. Thank you. These are stories kids are gonna look at and say, I want to be like that couple. You yeah. know, I will be on saying that with Jay Z. Good for them. Yeah. Nice bars. Kaifas and Letta had to start somewhere. There was a day one with them. And We're Kaifes, on year three now. And so Kaifas and Letta are a great example for another generation that was young. Oh. We're looking for our generation. Yeah. to in public we failed, but in personal lives we're doing okay. We're doing yeah. very well, but in public we failed. But someone has to get it right, yeah. and that's why I'm vouching for you. I'm vouching for the reason and his situation. I'm vouching for pretty and this. I'm vouching for it because yeah. people got to learn that love is important and it partnership and respect so is important. You know what so I mean? Important. Yo. Really is. We out here with no Please better. look up no. for the album Victory, my debut album, independent released on no Muzima Benna Music, dropping in 2018. Executive produced by Gemini Major. Trust me, it's epic. You don't want to miss it. I'm a dad, peace. Peace out, everybody. Hey, I call it Timaliyam. Hey, honey, honey, cash. I be